Hey, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Veril F1 electric skateboard. This is an electric longboard for oh, that's a little bit more budget friendly, coming in at three hundred and fifty nine dollars. This is a great option for anybody who is looking to get into electric skateboarding or just wants to expand their collection. This board has some amazing features that you'll see in just a second. But right now, let's cut to the intro. Hurry up. board actually has a really nice unboxing like you're about to see right here my first impressions for this board is wow they it looks amazing and it's also surprisingly light it has a, a single battery enclosure which is a battery and esc enclosure combined i really love this because it makes doing deck swaps so much easier and it makes you carrying your board a lot easier as well it comes with a pretty standard one plug charger so you have one plug same as the beepos ones and the same as EcoMobile's charger. It comes with some nice stickers, an instruction manual, and a nice remote. Sadly, it doesn't have a screen, so no speed, uh, like no speedometer, but you do have range. There's a T-Tool, really stand up there. And what else? You also have a remote charger, it's really short, so I would recommend just using any micro USB charger. So this board is actually surprisingly comfortable and stable. For a budget electric skateboard I really love the slight drop down on the deck and also the trucks that they have are really nice they're really solid and well made the wheels are pretty standard 90 millimeter wheels I would like to see a little bit bigger option if people desired but I kind of like the 90 millimeter so this board has two options when you buy it you can buy the battery the 4 4a battery or you could buy the 6a back battery I personally have the 4A battery, this means you get um, better hill climbing ability and a little bit more power, but you lose some range, you get like 7 or 8 miles. With the uh, more expensive back battery, you get longer range, but more battery sag and more hill climbing, I mean less hill climbing. This board tops out around 25 miles an hour, and you could pretty easily reach that speed since this board is so stable, you don't ever really get speed wobble. This board has also quick deck swap, which means basically it's just one ESC case, so just take off the, um, uh, just unscrew those four screws. It has a, um, 500, no, a 600 watt motor, so two 300 watts. So it's a little bit more powerful than the Backfire G2, and just a slight bit less powerful than the, than the Mepo boards. One of my favorite things about this board is just how stable it is at speed. The uh, drop down deck paired with the amazing bushings and trucks just make it so it's basically impossible to get speed wobble. I really think that's a great feature if you are a new rider or just somebody who wants to go at some speed. Just makes it a lot safer and makes it a lot easier to learn how to ride. Now I'm going to give you 20 seconds of riding footage just so you can watch me uh, ride and I'll be back for you guys shortly. Okay, not only does this board have great speed and great stability, this is a great board for hills. As you see, I'm coming up this hill with quite some speed, something that a lot of other budget boards cannot do. This board doesn't just have great speed, it also has really good braking, like you will see in a second. Something I also like to see for safety reasons and stuff like that. I definitely think this board deserves more popularity and... I would definitely check it out if I was you and you were looking to buy a new electric skateboard. So I will be putting a link for this board in the description so go check it out. Right guys I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I would definitely recommend that you go check out the Veril F1 if you are looking to get a new electric skateboard. Just a side note, the Waterborne Surf Adapter giveaway does end today, so join that if you haven't, or if you um, want to put in more entries, I guess. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.